then, not only that, I thought about sending him to a sound camp, and then I said, I got to found a sound camp. There's no thing. There's nothing out there. Well, glad you bring that up. I run a sound camp. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're not uh, qualified to run uh, a sound engineer's camp. <laughs> I, this well, is what happens every I love day. How you're getting distracted because I'm changing the volume after we hit record. Yeah. Why are you do? This <laughs> is. And another thing. Another thing, listeners at home. Hmm? Should know about yes. is this is our daily process when we're recording the Brad Ducast. Greg uh, tells Anthony to do a mic check. <laughs> Anthony then talks, for f- and Greg time. allows him to talk for a long time. And Anthony just says stuff like, "Today he said, uh, reporting live from KLJK, <laughs> my wife's dead, uh, or something like that." Yeah, and then after about uh, he does that for t- thirty seconds, and Greg said, "Is your mic on?" His mic's never on. Never on. <laughs> never once on. <laughs> The games we play. The games we play. The games uh, are afoot. The game is afoot. What's that from? The game is afoot. Who says that? Uh, I think Sean Connery. No. Hunt for Red October. I've never seen it. Maybe he says it. He could, maybe. Uh, but Sherlock Holmes. The game, oh, the game is afoot, yeah, Watson. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't like that he thought murder was a game. He Well, Sherlock Holmes. I like Sherlock Holmes because Sherlock Holmes... It was a flawed character. Sherlock Holmes was uh, mm. in the books. They didn't really get into this too yeah, much in the act. movies. Yeah, yeah, no cocaine. Oh, you like cocaine? cocaine. Yeah, right, he shot right. cocaine. Well, that's heroin. No, 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 well, nope. Well, <laughs> how am I supposed to know? Well, I'm not a derelict uh, like you and him, and especially you. Im, <laughs> Im's a derelict. <laughs> uh, you never did heroin, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did? I've done heroin. Did sure. I hear that? I may have. I think that. you did. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, I would. I would say this. I w- and that it? was never smoked. M- it. No, snorted it. Snorted it. Uh, I would say this. Not a. I don't recommend it. Of course, obviously, not. it's a very dangerous drug, and it never was my downfall. I didn't. I w- didn't do it a lot, but uh, just fantastic. Really, well, you really will see what the hype is all about. Where you're like, oh, all other drugs are minor. Right. This right. is just. This yeah. is just immediate bliss and not caring about anything. And it's like, yeah, obviously, because you see those kids on 2nd Avenue, those gutter punk kids, and it's right. like, yeah, he's just taking a nap in the rain. Right. Of course he's great. <laughs> right. Yeah. You he's know? covered in dirt. He's His covered in dirt. He's a dog. Yeah. yeah. He's and, got, yeah. and he's loving it. And he's loving yeah. it. So <laughs> yeah. that must be a pretty good drug. <laughs> yeah. I know. I felt that one time I was at... Uh, into the microphone. What? No. Yeah, I just want to make sure you're talking into the microphone. Here, yeah, I am. Now you are. Okay. Uh, one time I was at a... Uh, I don't know where I was. Uh, a bus station in New Jersey. Yeah. Some bus station. Yeah. And I saw it was <laughs> middle of July, 105 degrees. Yeah. I saw a crackhead full winter coat. Of and course. I was like, this has got to be a great drug. Yeah. Changes the season. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they got to bring all their stuff with them. Right, you know what yeah. I mean? There's no I, real. But totally unaffected. I was in a t-shirt and shorts. Yeah. And I was like, you know, sweating, complaining. Yeah. You know, and you just like scan the room for other mm-hmm. people who are maybe complaining like yeah. you mm. so you can maybe yeah. talk to them or whatever and then this guy love and life north yeah. full north face yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. and i was like that has that's got to be a hell of a drug man well i'll tell you my i talked to a i wish they in high school would have been like not drugs are bad and they do these crazy things because when i grew up they were like drugs aren't good they're not fun it's terrible right i wish they were like oh no it's so good it's okay <laughs> that you nothing else matters yeah anymore right talk to my friend I don't want to give him a shout out because he's sober. So I guess that's yeah. stupid. But yeah. uh, I was like, dude, what is heroin like? Because he used to shoot heroin. And yeah. he was like, it's like a million warm blankets comforting you. Right. And I was like, that sounds amazing. He's like, it is amazing, but it's the worst thing that you could do to yourself. Right. Like, because it's become so addictive and it, you throw your life away and you start. He said he was sell, you know, he was driving to Patterson and selling shit and people was getting shot. And, you know, it's really yeah, it's bad. It's terrible, dude. It's, right. so it's terrible. like, but be honest with us on what drugs do so we understand them. Well, that's there's not right. there's not a great deal of honesty with kids. Where first of all, there's no levels to it. You're never honest with them. Like, yeah, you could smoke weed. You know, like it's yeah, just yeah. like no drugs, right. no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. it's like you, it should be like I'm gonna, I'm starting a program where I go to schools and I say no needle drugs. No needle right, drugs. Yeah. You know, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. you can do and be careful with the coke once a month, maybe. Right. You know, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. If, really? if you're a big win. Yeah, if you're yeah. going out, if it's a party, a couple bumps, yeah, yeah, but don't yeah, get, yeah. you know, do, don't See, I've never done coke. Don't I bring thought, it home with you. <laughs> I thought coke was uh, bad. It's all bad, certainly. But when, can't you die the first time? That's what they told me. I mean, me in you could die from anything, really. But coke like it, it, explain say, to us cocaine because I never did it. I never will. 
Well, it's just a fucking great. It's an upper. You're euphoric. You're energized. You're yeah. you're. Uh, and I don't want to come on here and be an advocate for drugs. That's what I'm. I'm scared of. Yeah, it's happening right now. I don't want to listen. Don't do any of this shit. It'll fuck you up, and you could die. Yeah, you know that happened to Len Bias or whatever yeah. his name is, right? The news yes. reporter. This- was it Len Bias? <laughs> Len Berman. <laughs> so you're thinking of Len Berman. Uh, <laughs> Len Bias, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yes. you can if you have a heart condition. But, like, yeah. you know, I mean, I, there's room, I think, to to be a responsible. Coke, fu- I shouldn't say that. Don't do Coke. Yeah, it's a giant risk. If you take that risk, there could be a problem. You form a habit. Yeah. I mean, I take Adderall, and I see how it could be a habit-forming thing. Um, it makes everything happen and makes me feel very well good. so if you take adderall you basically just just magnify that and that's coke right? well that was the thing when i first started right. taking adderall someone gave me 40 milligrams to take and i yeah. cleaned my room and i was like this is awesome i'm doing everything yeah my friends yeah. love me and you i gave called, everybody haircuts <laughs> yeah i called my friend mike yeah. the doctor and i said dr mike this is the best thing ever yeah. he goes oh you're having a good time i go yeah and he goes well then you're just doing drugs yeah right <laughs> and let's now ex- understand that my milligram dosage i'm supposed to be taking and have is regulated to is five milligrams right so that right. was right I don't know oh, yeah, on that. You were... way too much yeah adderall's a drug i mean look we if i used to when i used to in you might college, have even done one of the podcasts yeah, I've done one of the podcasts yeah. after all. I it, think I lost it. In college... <laughs> I uh, to go back and try to find that episode. <laughs> in college, I used to... Uh, when we and Now, I think they've made uh, they've made some adjustments to the pills and the, and the way they're made that it's harder to crush up Adderall. You can't snort the ones I have. Yeah, like they, may, they, do, they put that shit in there that makes it... Um, it makes it clump up. But yeah. we used to... But before that, we used to... Like, if there wasn't Coke around, we'd blow Adderall. And uh, I remember this girl. I was in class one morning just all fucking... Just is zonked out, geeked. zonked yeah. out from the night yeah, before zonked. this girl goes. Uh, do, do you have huge blue boogers in your nose? And I go, "What are you, a, a booger detective? Do don't look yeah. in people's noses. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't. See, I'm not here taking account of what color your boogers are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, don't do drugs or do them. Just be careful. Whatever you know. Well, that's the thing is, I've only ever smoked pot, and I remember I was straight edge. You all know I was straight edge for a long time. Yeah. I my friend. I'm not going to give his name out. Uh, we uh, one day we're like, ah, people are going to snort coke. We're going to we're straight edge. We'll snort an ST. That's that's fun. And like, let me tell you, we're struck. <laughs> we just did drugs that we didn't realize just because they didn't say it was a drug. Yeah, it hurt like hell. Yeah, not a drug. And then we just had uh, sugar rushes. Yeah, through the nose. <laughs> um, what's it called? Uh, what if it turned out to have been like a great drug? I know, right? Like, now we're like when I were drug addicts, we were trying to be straight edge. Yeah, stupid. yeah. Also, not, st- not <laughs> like straight edge. You're you were doing that all wrong. Where you just <laughs> thought you just did drugs with things that weren't drugs. <laughs> <laughs> like what? I'm straight edge. Let's smoke some Legos. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, uh, yeah, but I'm not an ad. I just want to understand. Like I I don't know the right way to talk about drugs to kids and to people. Because like as door a guy who door. do drugs, then I smoke pot. I'm like, well, oh. pot isn't doing anything bad for me. So I, I am scared that people who listen to this, because a lot of our listeners aren't in New York, and they're not around people who are doing a lot of drugs. They're yeah. ready to go, oh, Coke is fine? Well, I'll just do Coke. And it's like, no. But more people are doing Coke than I ever thought really were doing Well, Coke, Coke is life. a uh, – I've always found – I always found Coke is a grimy drug, man. Like it's – it, it – it, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Like it can be fun, but it's ah, it's sleazy. Like it yeah. makes you. It's just not. I don't know. I don't have really fond memories. Like yeah. when I think about when I was drinking and doing drugs, like you know, I have fond memories of sometimes drinking with friends or fo- fond memories right. of like. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what drugs I have fond memory. I have fond memories of like ketamine, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I like anything that can take down a horse. <laughs> but, Try it on me. Uh, but I don't really have fond memories. Like Coke is more sad memories, where it's just like fuck. Like I was, yeah. I was. You miss your parents. Yeah. Uh, just you know, you're not a good person. You don't. You, right, it doesn't right, bring right, out right, the right. best in you. Right. Yeah, I have a lot of memories of pot. Just watching a bunch of cartoons at two of them in yeah, the morning, yeah. trying to relax. And that was you're just from you're yesterday. Talking, you're talking about last night. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about watching Pokemon last night. Dude, I got tired of watching Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. I want to show. It's impossible show. to follow. It is a great show. <laughs> I watch it the old. It's the most fun thing ever. When, when was Pokemon a show? 
<laughs> Pokemon's always been a show. It's always been a cartoon. So what's the look? Because so, I was never a Pokemon guy. Neither was I. I am now. Okay, hold on. Let me. Should I introduce the podcast? Seriously this is a long run. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, well, welcome to episode one hundred and eight of the Rad Dude Cast. Okay. It's also funny that we've always introduced Pikachu. the podcast. That's the only thing. Pikachu. What is the one thing they do? Well, they introduce it yeah. at some point. That's the only thing we've ever been <laughs> yeah, consistent yeah, yeah, yeah. with. Not on every this time either, though. No, Not there's some. Time. There's some no intros. Yeah, there's some no intros. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. No intros. Right into it. I never caught that. Um, there's a there's a decent amount of no intros. Really? Just um, for the sake of what the podcast was. I don't even funny. think the lady cast we did an intro. Oh, we did with the lady cast. The lady cast, I, I have mixed feelings on. I re listened to the lady cast, and I feel very self conscious about my really? voice on there. Yeah. Why? It's Why? like a southern bell. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I would like another shot at doing, at a, at doing a women's voice. Women's oh, okay. voice. well, not today. No, I don't want. You want to do it today? No. Try it now. What? Hey. No, it's the same. That's the same. It's Hainsborough. <laughs> it I mean, Hainsborough. no, because Hainsborough, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send you guys to voice classes. Y- y- uh, I'd love to go to a voice kit. I think that's just acting class. No, but no, this no. Is... Voice class is in my room. What, what, would, I liked your lady voice. I don't know. I didn't you feel right. I don't remember any of them. Um, so this is episode 108 of the world famous Rad Ducast. I'm Brendan Ayer. I'm here with. Please introduce yourself. Oh, uh, well, Mike is, McClintock. Uh, fine. You Mike know, now McClintock. your name doesn't get said ever. <laughs> okay, that's it. You're Mike McClintock. Forget ever having fans. <laughs> and I'm here with I'm here with Mike McClintock. You can follow him on Twitter at Mike McClintock. Dot com. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. And uh, great. And, uh, great. And what's your name? Stu Robinson. You know, why mm. is this? How is it that hard? Stu and Mike. Mike and Stu. Stu, S-T-E-W, like a beefy bro. Oh, yeah. you're not going S-T-U. No, no, mm. I'm a Stu. Now, is that short for Stuart? No, it's short for a Stu that is made of emotions. <laughs> yes. Because that's I'm, what I am, a Stu of right. emotions. I'm Mike, M-I-C, like a microphone you hold in your hand. Microphone McClintock. Interesting. McClintock. That is Microphone also McClintock. Stu. What was my last name? Stu, Stu Robinson. Stu Robinson. Yes. Um, I'm a robber's son. <laughs> my father was a thief and a bandit. And I am not going to write him off. <laughs> <laughs> we all have flaws. <laughs> we all have flaws. So I, again, uh, that's Brendan Ayer here with uh, Mike McClintock, that's M-I-C, and yes. Stu Robertson, short for I am a stew of emotions. Stew of emotions. Father, <laughs> a robber, and a bandit. Let now, me ask you this. Let me would ask you, you this. Not, would you not be a stew of emotions if your father was a thief and a bandit? I might. I might. I just surprising that that was your given name. You want to be a good person, yeah. But how are you going to be when you you love your father and he's also a man who is broken into houses? He's held people at gunpoint. God, it's it's just I'm a stew of emotions. I get that. <laughs> as a microphone, <laughs> as a human microphone, I get that. What episode are we on? We're on episode 108. Please follow the podcast <laughs> at the Rad Dude Cast on Twitter. That's the best place uh, to get Rad Dude Cast information. Or look up the uh, Facebook group, the Rad Dude Cast After Dark. That is now open to anyone. You can get on there. Um, I don't know what's happening with the fan page. That's fucked up. We're going to have shirts coming out soon. The other thing we're, we, we're briefly in discussion for, and, and we need to... Um, we do need an intern at some point. We got to figure out our our tech situation. Yeah. And uh, there's a couple like formatting stuff and things. So we'd like to have. If you're someone who's in the on our yeah <laughs> yeah, if you're someone who's in the New York area and good with that sort of stuff, and and honestly interested, then yeah. message us on Twitter or on Facebook. What can we do to give? Are them? we getting a real intern? This is what you guys are talking about? I don't Possibly. Really? I mean, but we I think so. well, we'd Great. like to. Yeah. There's a couple we should, issues. We well, just have... a day's work for a day's pay. Oh yeah, we and money. the pay is just that you get to be here. Yeah, yeah. or or college yeah. credit. I got yeah. twenty bucks. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Or I'll uh, make you a custom action figure. We gotta so we gotta decide on like an interview process and yes, you know, stuff as like we've that. just fallen into the dark hole <laughs> uh, of ruining someone's life. Yeah, I'm sure that there will be uh, enough viable candidates to necessitate an interview process. That goes without saying. Either way, we're getting them in the hot room. Yeah, <laughs> we get them in the hot room and we close the windows in their face. Yeah, so you say no air for you. Yeah, yeah. what? Can you work under what pressures? Um, can you work under Stu Robinson and Mike, Mike McClintock, McClintock. <laughs> and just Brendan Air? Yeah, and just Brendan Air because I am a human uh, being. Now, do us a favor if you could rate the podcast on iTunes. You know, give it a review, give it a rating, share it with friends. It always helps us. We're 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 having some growth. Uh, uh, you know, we're having some growth. Not on the podcast. Anthony's got a growth under his armpit. 
Yes, uh-huh. I'm growing another dick. That's cool. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. rare. Yes, I know. I applied and got one. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's an application yep. process. I yes. talked to the government and they said fine by us. They're very progressive. The government. A lot yeah. of people don't think so. Yeah, yeah. If you're going like normal things, maybe not. But dick. Now's armpits. the time to get in with the government. Yeah, yeah. Because of all the the gay marriage and transgender rights and all those things that yeah. are happening, you can kind of email the government about basically anything. You got a real window right now to get yourself some extra dicks, some extra. For pussies, yeah. a couple extra eyeballs. Oh, I got a prize to give away. I'm sorry. No, no good. The, well, I'm fascinated by this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gotta... Let me say both. I, I, I'm, I'm torn here because Coffee on one hand, hard. I've got some uh, a Mike McClintock espousing some sort of scenario where you email the government for an extra dick. <laughs> yes. Uh, Now's the time. <laughs> act, act now. Yeah, act now. This and is, well, are you an infomercial? Last year. So yeah. he's doing... He's kind of, you know, it's Friday for him. It's clearance sale on yeah, Obama. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, go for it. Now, this is going to alienate <laughs> some of our listeners uh, because uh, just from the Snapchat, I, uh, I've i gathered that many of our listeners are just sort of rabid uh, conservative lunatics. But I love Obama, man. He's maybe my favorite yeah. president of all time. I, like I him. love him for trying. I like Kennedy. You're trying, Kennedy? he did. Yeah, I love Kennedy. Come the on, Kennedy you, a, an Irish Catholic yeah. boy in America. But he you died. kidding me? Is he? So? so that's weak, 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 bro. I've never died. If you ever say that about, <laughs> if you ever tell me, look me in the eye and tell me John F. Kennedy has died again, and see what, <laughs> and see what you find, <laughs> because you're you're coming down a dark alley in the middle of the night. That's my. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I'm just trying to. Uh, remember. But Biden is my favorite. Brendan's more Irish than you think. Oh no, he you is. know, no, I don't. He know has that. more. You have more Irish pride than you think. Do you know how Irish I thought he was? Yeah, I thought he was Italian this whole time up until right now. <laughs> well, I still thought this was a three no, Italian it's a man good, podcast. It's a good thing. It's a great. This thing. I always say this. It, it, uh, uh, Italians. Mm. That's what I call Italians. Mm-hmm. The dirty Italians and Irish. Yeah. Very similar. You guys right. just have better food, but yeah. similar, and you're a little suaver. But similar in that, right. like, Reasier. similar in that they're people that are like really easygoing and good to get along with, yeah. and then they get angry and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's a very similar yeah. kind of yeah. feeling of like, uh, oh, they, that guy, he's the best, he's the funniest guy I've ever met. But he'll yeah. kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, yeah, yeah, he'll yeah, kill yeah. you if you uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Well, I think we both bottle our emotions as a people. But you you got to. What are these those. people doing with their emotions out in the know. open? No, Keep I mean, them for yourself. They're yours. Them, yeah. They're yours. Yeah. yeah. You own them. Never then, tell anyone. You yeah. know, when they play the wrong music at a grocery <laughs> store, you punch them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Fun way to live. Yeah. Uh, now, so, th- so, so that, you know, we went down that road, and then there's another thing. Stu. Stu. What's your last name? Stu. Robinson Robertson. Stu, sure, Stu yeah. Robertson claims to have prizes to give out. I do have oh, a prize. He does. Can I say one more th- before we do the prize giveaway? <gasps> no, because sometimes. Sure, of course. Uh, Kennedy. I, I watched this little documentary on presidents last night. Kennedy's father. Uh, also Kennedy. Sure, bootlegger. Got, yeah, but uh, be, got a lot of money because of insider trading. Sure. Oh, they and were criminals. They didn't regulate it at the time. Yeah, insider right. trading. He yeah. was a bootlegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, yes. The mafia was yeah. heavily involved in. He was heavily involved with the mafia. It's nice. not a great seat. I mean, right. And then know. he wanted his older son to be president. Right. But then he died. He died. So then Kennedy, young Kennedy, became the face. Sure. It's. Nice. I mean, if you really think about the Kennedy family, yeah, it's great. Like the the number of bad things that have happened. I have them. inside information on this. Continue, and I'm going to tell it to you when you're done. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. <laughs> You know, Bobby and JFK shot. Yeah. yeah. Ted Kennedy p- killed a woman and everyone was just fine with it. Yep. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, and that's America's first family. Yeah. Yep. Uh, John Jr. Plane crash. Right. Yep. You know, the Skakel, those twins up to no good, killed right. people. Yep. Caroline Ray is still performing. Caroline Ray is. She's a Kennedy. Really? What? Yeah. You guys didn't well, know. I got to take note on that. Yeah. For Sabrina the, the Witch. Oh She's God. a Kennedy. We they don't like to talk about her. it, but she is. Do not hang around her. <laughs> I have inside information. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Buckle your seatbelts. I always install seatbelts <laughs> to the chairs in my room. True story, though. This is honestly true. I did read this. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, I don't want to give his name away. I don't uh, fear for his life. <clears throat> Kennedy's grandfather, maybe even his great-grandfather. I don't remember exactly who it was. Uh, was in there was like a war that was happening. Correct me if you've heard this. And 
<laughs> correct me if you've heard this. Not if I'm wrong. Yeah. Just yeah. correct me if you have any information whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 correct me if you know anything. <laughs> laughing, laughing, laughing. We'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> when you guys are in a car with with uh, Caroline Ray and that thing veers off a radio for no reason and, and you're in a river trying to f- uh, find your way out. I hate when a car zeers off the radio. Uh, Greg, <laughs> Greg, I kind of think I've heard this. <laughs> Should I be correcting you? <laughs> so, <laughs> hilarious, 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 hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying Go to on. save your lives. No, you've got this yeah. inside information yeah. about Kennedy's scoop. grandfather or yeah. great grandfather who was in a war we may or may not have heard of. Yeah. Can't exactly remember it. But he was looking into a pond uh, at his own face because the Kennedys are very beautiful people and they are little narcissists to a fault. Yeah. Not this day. This day it saved his life. A cannonball was zeering <laughs> through the air at him. <laughs> second time he said zeering the yeah. in this zeer story. Of yeah. This story. <laughs> yeah. But. As the rumor has it, before the cannonball hit, yeah. the <clears throat> reflection of the pool of water, he was able to see it. He kind of had like a telepathy moment. Yeah. Moved out of the way. Cannonball misses him. Now this guy beat death. Oh, so death has been trying to get his death uh, revenge. has been coming after him. Very final destination. And this is where they got the idea for the movie Final Desti- Destination from. So death has been... <laughs> yeah. You know, that's interesting because there's the as many sequels to Final Destination as, as there, there are Kennedys, Kennedys that died. Yep. When you hear... There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Kennedy um, conspiracy theories. Not a lot of them have a tie-in to Final Destination. Yeah. And that's why I like this uh, one. Correct Mundo, <laughs> Final Destination has a tie-in to the Kennedys. R- right, right, sure. <laughs> Based on a true story, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> kinda. That's what I said. This is kinda something I heard. I like how. I also like <laughs> from. Maybe, the, I, I like from the story that uh, he sees the cannonball in the pond coming at him, but yet it's a telepathic moment. No, 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 no that's no. just that's just yeah. eyes, that's man. See, it happened first in the. He was looking at the pond. And he saw it. I, I see what you're saying. And oh, then it later. Uh, oh, he saw it later. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So he has this premonition. Everyone goes, "Hey, John, w- what's up? Why are you sweating and being weird?" And he goes. Ah, uh, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> the war has come for us. <laughs> Death is clamping it off. I looked I mean, into a pond. What I saw, I didn't like. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks that we missed it on that voice for yeah. longer. Yeah, you know? it's crazy that we all can do it. Yeah. Also, you can't do any impressions, and you just <laughs> knocked a Kennedy out of the goddamn park. Yeah. You're all, a tree almost fell on me, but I watched out, and then a bus almost hit me. Kennedy, <laughs> hit me, Kennedy. <laughs> he did that a lot. A lot of people don't know that. He liked to rhyme himself uh, yeah, in yeah, words. Yeah. I'm Kennedy, <laughs> and I'm happy that I looked into it. I Watch can't out for that cannonball. Oh, I lost it. Yeah, we all lost Too it. Too much breath. Today in America, uh, mine's, I think mine just became an old man. Say a famous Kennedy thing, and then you'll get it. Like, uh, yeah. the trees have heard the will of the man, and they have found revenge. <laughs> yep, and that you'll is get it. one of my all-time yeah. favorite uh, Kennedy quotes. You know, when quotes. John F. Kennedy was in The Happening? I was going to say, <laughs> another movie based on the Kennedys is The Happening. And that's why people get mad at M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> right. Like, you write bad movies. No, I got bad eyes. I saw what happened, <laughs> and I wrote it down. And you're, don't yell at me. Yell at God. God is the one who created The Happening, which was a Kennedy story. Everyone knows it. <laughs> well, not only that, The Happening, I, they really, you got to be more upfront if no you're spoilers. doing No spoilers. Okay, no spoilers. But it's the plants. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the plants, man. Yeah, I'm very excited you about You know, it's interesting, it. too. The Happening, Mark Wahlberg is in The Happening. Who is also. Who is also, uh, uh, he has that kind of accent. Oh, I, I thought, thought you were going to say, say also a Kennedy, and I was going to say well, I, everyone knows that. That goes with I, oh, I just assumed you guys knew. That. <laughs> I thought that was like you know, don't even say that because everyone knows that's that. it. Lock Lock Wahlberg down. Death is coming for him. Yeah. I I do like just saying everyone's yo. You know that guy's related to the Kennedys. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. you guys know I'm related to Thomas Stone, signer of the Declaration of Independence. Right? Not a fake story. Let's break kayfabe for a little bit. True story. I am related to Thomas Stone. Signer of the Declaration of Independence <laughs> and Aaron Burr. I know you think I'm no joking. I am not joking. Do your research. I have paperwork in my house. You do? I swear to God. What kind of paperwork? I got paperwork. It's just a receipt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom used to get receipts from pussy. You smash that shit up and then you get a receipt. Yeah, that's your baby. True story. I have documentation. Family trees. I am related to some of the most famous people. Martha Washington. True story. Related to me. I know that no one's going to believe me. It's an insane thing to say. 
<laughs> Hear me now. <laughs> you, the way you said these things, it sounds like a Donald Trump speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does. True Just story. Now, interior you know. common. I know no one's going to believe me, but yeah, I got the documentation. No, well, you say I don't, but I do. You know, just... It is true. Yeah. It is true. Yeah. What do you need for me to prove this to you? Do you guys believe me? Yeah. Yeah. Believe... It's very true. Yeah, why not? Not why not. Here's the thing. It is true. <laughs> Here's the thing. I I'll believed my mom earlier right when you said uh, Final Destination was based on the life well, of Well, that's Kennedy, also so... true. And put the mic closer to your mouth. Uh, I'll put the mic wherever I fucking want. <laughs> um, that being said, I have a Has prize. Has there ever All been... Right. Uh, because with the Kennedys, they had so many brothers and stuff like that. You know, <clears throat> that's would be great in a presidential race. Two brothers going against each other. That happened before. Really? Yeah, WrestleMania 10, Owen <laughs> versus Brett. <laughs> yeah, it tore the WWF apart. Yeah. Now WWE. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, there's, uh, there is, I think, the closest... Yeah, I do, there's, no, I, there's no scenario of that yes. that I know of. Because for the most part, uh, families tend to be in... Uh, same party same lines. Same party yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, James Carville is married to, he. Uh, what's her name? Ann Couture. No. But oh. he is, you know, he's Louis married. Louis Vuitton. No, I forget her name, but, uh, you know, that's a famous Spit couple. Williamsburg. That's, uh, you know, one's a Republican <laughs> strategist and one's a, uh -huh. a Democratic, you know, analyst. Oh, uh, Mary Magdalene. It is, it's, uh, what, I forget her name, but. Um, Susan B. Daddy. Yep, Daddy. now that yep. is it. It is Susan, Susan B. Daddy. B. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, uh, Susan B. Daddy. Coffee to Name Supreme Court jazz musician. <laughs> <laughs> Susan B. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> Question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the amount he's turning the do yeah, dials I mean, today is really concerning me. He just turned someone Polk. all the way down. <laughs> Polk's brother. Polk's brother ran against his own brother. <laughs> Len Bias Polk. You don't remember that? Well, no, because now you're just bringing up names that were mentioned earlier in the podcast. Well, that's what made me remember. <laughs> Len Bias Polk. They went head to head, and uh, one was said, Mama is a bitch. And he said, You're not talking about your mother like that. You're not talking about your mother like that. And then he said, I'll do what I want. She was a flat out bitch. She said, God damn it. Yeah, damn it! You can do this every time, and then that was the that was the debate. That's, a an, that's debate. an interesting. Uh, uh, I'm high on on coffee right now. That is an interesting <laughs> campaign platform. Just my mother's a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> He's got my vote. Yeah, well, what people uh, were saying? Yeah. Slavery. My mother was a bitch. The economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do it now. They were like slavery, the economy, yeah, and not, they were like not straw not man like, argument. <laughs> my mom's a bitch, and he's like, my mom's not a bitch, and they did no one even. That's why Polk isn't known for anything because they never got to the issues. <laughs> The whole presidency run on his mother being a flat-out bitch. <laughs> Those days you could be a bitch and not be in as much trouble. Uh, now you can't be a bitch. You can't be anything nowadays but the liberals coming after you. <laughs> True. Tell me I'm wrong. Exactly. What's Liberal the, pieces of what's shit. What's something they've got on you about? Oh, what haven't they got on to me about? Uh, I'll tell you what, the ceiling fan, that seems to be the only thing that I can have. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Greg, okay, Greg is saying that uh, the ceiling fan is the only thing he has. He then pointed at his ceiling convincingly. There's no ceiling fan there. He goes, this is the only thing I can have. Points up there, no ceiling fan. Yeah, you know, the liberals took it from me. And they said I can have it, but it's got to be held by another liberal. Ugh. I'll tell you this. I, I Yesterday I was out in the street and I, I was uh, slandering a homeless man. And this woman comes out for me. And she goes, she goes crazy. You know, she was like, what are you saying that about him for? And I said, I'll say what I want. The guy's got no job. The guy's got no intentions. And she said, <laughs> no <"You> intentions. <laughs> she, said, she said, you're a piece of shit. And get out of, uh, get out of my economy. <laughs> Liberals, they're taking everything from me. Uh, I do like. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I do like the idea of like a conservative right wing radio host that just is like nothing quite connects or makes. Sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, he, he's got no intentions. <laughs> I got a prize. To give away. Yeah, what is this prize? Because I find it questionable. It's not the truth. Prize. The prize. I swear to God. Now this is not a joke. Okay. We should have a. We should have a word. For our audience, when like a safe word, yeah, it's like, oh, I really do mean this. Yeah, okay, that word will be impregnable, <laughs> impregnable, Donnie, impregnable Donnie. Okay, impregnable if I ever Donnie. say the words impregnable Donnie, that means what I'm going to say next is so true, is so real, <laughs> it's so goddamn close to my heart that you need 
to just trust me. Will someone tweet impregnable Donnie at us so we remember this, so yes. we have a record yeah. that that's the safe word? If we say impregnable Donnie, yeah. it's real. Yeah. I have one limited edition signed by all three of us. We're going to sign it after this. Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed <laughs> Gauntlet. <laughs> okay. It is real. Yeah, we do. It is in my living room. <laughs> it is do. the gauntlet from Assassin's Creed. You can put it on, and a knife shoots out when you push a button. It is a pl- impregnable Donnie. I do own this. He I was, does. I was given it. Was given yeah, it to this me. Is but true. that's the best that we just gave out. Un- totally unrelated prizes. Of course. Just stuff yeah. that Greg has. Why are we some- giving away a prize? To someone who can help us maybe with uh, with maybe getting the, oh, uh, this- the, 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 the words on the iTunes. What is it called? Oh, that's, so that so it's not a prize so much as that's the payment for but the one an who intern. does it the best. Right. Uh, no, the let's make. Hold on, I got an idea now, and let everyone have what they want with the iTunes. I got an idea. Okay. What if we were to? Um, is this impregnable, Donnie? Impregnable, Donnie. Mm, okay. This is impregnable, Donnie. Um, <laughs> what if? Let's keep the intern <laughs> thing separate. <laughs> Because we do what? actually need an intern. We do need an intern. Mm-hmm. So let's keep that separate. Let's give out this prize for something. F- actually give it out. Okay. What could be a contest? Like who shares the podcast no. the most? Someone has to dump a bucket of something on their head. Whoever dumps the best thing. We've got to do uh, a rad dude cast bucket challenge. Right? <laughs> oh, what if you have to chug a bottle of ketchup? Is that safe? No, that's gross. I think it's fine. Dump something. <laughs> dump something of anything on your head. Whoever dumps the best thing gets the prize. Yeah. Okay. Impregnable yeah. Donnie, best bucket dump. Yeah, yeah. and you have, have to. Have, you you have, have to challenge someone else to do it too. You have to tag it, mm. put it on Facebook, yeah. and tag it uh, hashtag rad the dude. Rad Dude Cast. Bucket challenge. The great bucket. <laughs> the great bucket dump. The great bucket dump. <laughs> yeah. And whoever dumps something on their head, water, piss. I'll tell you right now, water. Piss. You're not going to win. I'll tell you this, if you're the only one who does it, you might. You might, but <laughs> I would say start with start with sardines. Or ketchup. Did yeah. I ever tell you about the blood, uh, seals blood. at the zoo? No. I think I've Why'd you point to that. me? I'm not a seal at a zoo. <laughs> no, I pointed up uh, behind me like I knew where the Cleveland Zoo was. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've talked about this on the podcast before. Maybe you have. Growing up, mm-hmm. you could get a, a, a little cup, you know, like the kind of cup that snow cones come in, the the yes. triangular yeah. cup? You could get one of those filled up with sardines, and they'd let you feed the seals at I the zoo. It. I love it. It was crazy. You could just, <laughs> anyone who wanted to, you just feed yeah, the seals, yeah. right? I went back to the zoo when I was a little older. That wasn't there. I go to the guy, hey, whatever happened, you used to be able to feed these seals. The guy goes, ah, we had to stop that. They just started learning they could would eat whatever got thrown in, so people were throwing batteries in there. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the craziest yeah. thing in the world yeah. because, like, A, what a monster. Yeah. yeah. What a monster that would throw a battery to sure. a seal. Okay. And then, seals. B, if you get into the thinking about it, no one, there's no circumstance where you just have a battery with you at the zoo. Right. You brought those. <laughs> yeah, or something goes without power for the rest of the trip. You planned those ahead of time. You said, empty out the yeah. remote, I'm going to the zoo. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to kill a seal. Maybe that's the argument for drugs. Don't do drugs because then you're going to throw batteries at seals. Man, someone but, high on cocaine probably did that. Yeah, or maybe people don't, you know, no, I don't know what to do with their batteries. Yeah, because I got a bunch of batteries that just have been sitting on my desk for a couple of years. I don't Throw know. Throw the seal. Oh, see, that's where that thought came from. Right. That right. was just a natural. Well, I recycle. I don't know if I recycle batteries. What do I do with them? You just these days you gotta just throw them out. The oh, whole really? properly dispose of your batteries. That's a myth. Or dump you them throw on your them head. out. You throw them into the river. Dump them on your head for the rad dude cast dump. Bucket dump. What's it called? What's the hashtag? The great thing? bucket dump. The great bucket Just dump. Just ha- and the easiest hashtag, whatever you want to call the bucket dump, fine. But hashtag the rad dude cast so we can find it. I don't know if hashtags work on Facebook. I also am thinking of getting off social media, getting into more more ice cream socials. Why? Oh yeah. Uh, oh cool. Oh, I was running on the Williamsburg Bridge yesterday, well, mid run. Great. Here comes a base. Someone get the Brendan trumpets. Brendan Bragg. Mid run. Mid run. Randolph. Hashtag. Mid run. Three New York City police helicopters. Now I didn't couldn't find anything in the news, so in hindsight, I think it was a. Uh, um, Exercise, of yeah, some sort. yeah, yeah. Three New York City police. The only exercise they get those fat pieces of shit. 
I love the caps. Start <laughs> hovering next to the bridge. We got to think. And looking at all the no. traffic on the bridge. Hovering As next I'm to you? Right next to the bridge. And then I see a fire truck pull up at the base of the bridge and some guy run out. And so I'm in the middle of the bridge. I'm like, well, fuck. They're well, going to blow up the bridge while I'm on it. Yeah. yeah. This classic. is ridiculous. Classic Brendan Love. And I didn't even have my phone with me because I, I would have got a great selfie and like sent it to all my f- friends and family. Like, well, I love you. This is the end. you know. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't have it, so I yeah. had to just yell that. Off the bridge. Oh, I heard. So I started running faster. Nothing came of it. Hmm. Man, you could have got a good selfie. A great selfie. You should have pointed a gun at them. Maybe you're. Maybe you don't even know. Maybe your running faster stopped the whole thing from happening. It could be. You could have saved so everything. So next time. Now death is after you. Butterfly effect. Yeah. No, Kennedy. Kennedy. Kennedy effect. Final Kennedy destination. <laughs> Kennedy nation. Listen, nation. Now, <laughs> I'd like to do a thing. Sorry. Uh, Nobody likes me anymore. Where, I love you. Thanks. Uh, I'd like to do a thing. Uh, Driving force. Called, uh, <laughs> I've got a new segment. Yeah. Can I just talk for a little bit, though? No. Nah. i got a lot to uh, say that doesn't make sense. No, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you can talk. Go ahead. Uh, all right. So I was thinking about bananas a lot lately. And they, they, they are very underrated. All right. If you go up to a man and say, how many, how many bananas for what you have? They're gonna say like you're gonna have to give me like a billion bananas for anything. <laughs> Come on, man, bananas are good. I will say, uh, I just got into bananas. It's taken me about six years, and I'm now into them. How in God's name <laughs> what? are you answering what he said <laughs> with a sensible like? Oh, okay. Let me get in. A, let me get in on this fucking he completely up, logical he conversation. Up and you just answered it like it wasn't batshit crazy that he said he's got something to say and then said, you try and give a man a banana for all his stuff, he's going to want a lot of bananas. I don't know yeah. what he's saying. I'm, I just know that he brought up bananas. I am the driving force behind this <laughs> podcast. You are. As said by Brendan Ayer in a note, a, a, a note, a document that is being passed around uh, behind the scenes for us. Uh, what do they call that? Like in-house document? It's, it's just a, a promotional sheet for the podcast. And yeah, I do think you're the driving I force. I am the driving force. So when I want to talk about bananas, y'all better shut the fuck up and listen. I, I listened. Did I listen? Yeah, you did. But yeah. my only comment on it was this This does not seem germane to the conversation at hand. Why does Jermaine have to do with this? <laughs> y'all know Jermaine? Jermaine? Jermaine my hair cutter? <laughs> I mean, this seems uh, uh, question qu- question is possibly ra- racially offensive. No, you've said just J- Jermaine talks like this. Whatever you picture is what you picture, but this is how he talks. <laughs> then that's on you for whatever race you picture. But Jermaine would love to rub candies on my neck. I said, "Give me a haircut." He would rub candies on my neck. And I would say, "Damn, Jermaine, ain't you gonna come out?" He said, "Let me put these candies on you. Let me lick you up. Let me touch you I down." I gotta take this call. <laughs> <laughs> unidentified number. Get it on the air. Hello? Tell them they're on the air. Hello? You're on the air. You're, Who's on, this? you're on the air. What? You're on the air. You, John, what's this in regards to? I'm in the middle of a podcast. Put him on speakerphone. Yeah, Brendan, you got to get him on speaker here. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's his agent telling him mm. he's in the business. Mm. I got on I got on some sort of list. I get all these yeah. uh, spam calls now. I'm on a list, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's a list that kept me safe from being burned in a camp in World War II. Schindler's List. Head of the list. Because I did a good deed, and they saved me. Oh, boy. <laughs> you didn't know that? I don't. You didn't know that? How did that never come up? This, this, this is exactly what you wrote down. What? You are the glue, this is the driving force, <laughs> and I am a great comedian across the country. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get that far to what he said about you. He said driving force about me. I just said close the email. You're done. <laughs> no, I said Anthony. I said I said uh, you're the driving force, right? Because driving I, force. I do feel that. I do feel that we. Where we, are we going? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And when nobody knows where we're going. <laughs> And uh, I, and I, I said Anthony is more of a uh, he's more of a if you're the driving force he's more of the sort of stopping force you know you say a great thing he ruins it yeah yeah <laughs> then and I said that I made that very clear Good. I said Anthony I said what we would be no, willing you did it I said what yeah, we would be willing did, yeah. to entertain right uh-huh. if someone wanted to 
uh, buy this podcast outright. That's what we're trying to do. Because a lot of people try and get on a network, all that. Mm. Not us. We're trying no. to sell. Like we're it's trying a to sell, sell to yeah. the highest bidder. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just going to sell the podcast like it's a sports franchise. I said, the, what yeah. we, I said, yeah. owner. We I should said, have an owner. I said, listen, I don't want to. should have an owner. I said, I don't want to tell the uh, new ownership how yeah. to run their job. First things first, I would drop Anthony. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he yeah. is dead weight. I would drop him and I'd elbow drop him. Yeah, he's like an anchor. A physical pain to He's an anchor. Dra- you drop him overboard and yeah. cut the rope because he will drag you to the depths. You know who I would bring Boys. in? I would bring in Jermaine. Jermaine, the guy who cuts my hair, and he rubs candies on my <laughs> neck. He's like, You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I'm going to rub some of these. These are juji fruits on your neck. That's not a <laughs> typical haircut. Well, it's a thing I pay for. But you can't tell me what I pay for. Uh, we should think about uh, how many barber shops have there been? Fifteen. There's been a lot. They've been, I think they've been back in business a couple times. Oh, you mean the movie? Yeah. I thought you were just saying how many barber shops have there <laughs> and been? I said fifteen. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you meant the movie? Three, maybe. Three, then there was maybe. the beauty shop. Maybe one of these Rad Dude Guest episodes, we should do a uh, new, the next barber shop. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. First, yeah, I'd like too. to. So before, so because they'll inevitably probably do another one. Yeah. So why don't we do the next one and see how right we get? Yeah. When the new one comes out, we'll get it. We'll get out in front of the whole thing. Yeah, we'll get out in front of the whole thing. Can yeah. I bring in Jermaine? Yeah, of course. He'll be like, yo, <laughs> yo, your hair looks all right, but let me just put some up some popcorn in your hair. I like it. Jermaine. Sort of started as racist, and then uh, you were like, I got to get out of this racism. Let's be. Let's make him gay. No, he's whatever he feels like. Yeah. He is a man who doesn't form to social uh, constructs. That's nice. One day he was a box. <laughs> <laughs> An empty box. <laughs> did you did you see Straight Outta Compton? Yeah. I the thing that I found most amusing <laughs> in it box. was when Ice Cube yeah. was just writing Friday. Yeah. yeah. Ice yeah, Cube yeah. wrote Friday. Yeah. That seems questionable. Oh, he did. He did. Yeah. He wrote. That's Friday. amazing. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, the yeah. best. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ice Cube might be the most talented right. man in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He what? just invented gangster rap and then yeah. also wrote one of the best comedies. Right, all while named Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Didn't even yeah. think for a second, maybe switch that up. One time I went in to get a haircut, and I saw this guy, Larry. I said, Larry, where's Jermaine? And he said, what are you talking about? He's right here. And I said, where? He goes, you're standing on him. I said, what do you mean I'm standing on him? He goes, why do you think you're so tall today? What, Jermaine is a box? Oh, boy. And he said, yeah, I'm a box today. <laughs> But tomorrow, I might be something else. I might be like a rainbow or a feeling you have in your heart when your mom leaves. Oh, boy. Can I, can I get into my segment that I invented? Yes. I'm sorry. For what? Because I'm not a good person. I love Jermaine. That's not why. Did we ever give away that prize? No, but let's get into Brendan's segment because I've been no, hold on. railing this right into everything off. No, let's not get into my segment because this bears addressing. <laughs> What? He asked if we ever give away a prize. <laughs> Literally seven minutes ago, <laughs> we talked about the prize oh, and formatted a whole oh, contest for it. And was. then he just Hot goes, challenge. yeah, Anthony, we gave it away. Yeah. It, between now and the seven minutes, me and no. Greg ran a whole thing and we've <laughs> given the thing away. I have a better idea. Erase everything you've heard. <laughs> Erase it from your brain. We're going to do Rad Dude Cast auditions. You do a character. And you sent it to us a video, and the best character, Mr. and Mrs. Rad Dude Cast. What? Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, oh, I'm talking right. about we get. I want to see people create their own Rad Dude Cast characters. Oh yeah. And then and then we'll uh, we'll give away the the Assassin's Creed glove. Yeah. <laughs> signed by us. Oh, that's good. To whoever, to whoever. Yeah, I'm oh. in. Good or do the bucket go. thing too if you want. Do whatever you guys want. So Any... don't form the social constructs like my hairdresser, Jermaine. Uh, so good that I brought up this prize thing, huh? Yeah, that was pretty good. Mm, I don't know. Anthony's got Anthony's the armpits of Anthony's shirt. Yeah, I've seen sweat stains. What I've never seen is just a a blackened, uh, <laughs> like a like a forest that's been burned down. I did a lot yeah. of coal mining in this shirt. Yeah. Well, then it's actually surprisingly clean. <laughs> I wasn't the best miner. <laughs> Were you a good? Ah! Oh, the cup fell. There's nothing in it. There is nothing in it. Uh, I apologize, crowd, if I have scared you as you were scared the day you got the news that one of the towers has went down. I don't. I mean, I don't even know what you're apologizing for, but I would like to get into my segment. Oh yes, Brendan yes. segment. Uh, this is called uh, uh, Anthony and Greg uh, deliver the news. Oh, I forgot about this. It's nice. where this I uh, just go on to this various is... news web- websites, uh, read a. 
Uh, News, what are you uh, throwing down? What is going on? You can't control myself. You're in uh, you're in uh, hot space today. <laughs> I mean, Greg really is just are. throwing stuff. He's uh, rambling about bananas. It's phenomenal. You're like a kid who's uh, gonna be taking a big nap. Uh, I have ten minutes. Be so on the ride home. I, I what I'll do is I'll read you a headline from yes. a news link. Yes, and then you guys give me the full story. Yeah, give me the it. breakdown. So this first one, great for uh, Greg and yeah. Anthony tell you about breaking news. Chinese swimmer smashes taboo. Uh, who's going to take that? You take it. Because I do have firsthand accounts on what happened with the Chinese the Chinese swimmer who smashed the <laughs> yeah, taboo. Yeah, so what happened with this story, Greg? Well, there was a man. He came into the place, and he was uh, his, he had a, uh, a bomb, trapped, his bomb strapped to his chest. Yeah. And uh, everyone was in a ray. They said, they said, what are we going to do in the Olympics? We're going to all die. We're going to all die. A man has come in and a swimmer like a fish. Roots. What was his name again? Whose name? The swimmer? <laughs> the Olympic swimmer who stopped He stopped Taboo, I the evil say, terrorist. Just Chinese swimmer smashes. Oh, Taboo is a man. Taboo was oh, the terrorist. Oh, I didn't know that yeah. from the he story. Yeah, and yeah, he was yeah. a terrorist and he says, yeah. my name's Taboo. Sounds and a lot like Jermaine. Y'all ain't been listening to me for a long time. <laughs> Now I'm going to kill all you motherfuckers. He got real, and then Chinese <laughs> swimmer, and he only goes by the name Chinese swimmer. And that's why I respect about him. Yeah. Is that he yeah. says, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. This is what I love. You will call me Chinese swimmer. And he comes out and he goes, no, 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 That's how he sounds when he, he gets out of the water. It's you, very beautiful. Very much very like graceful. Chevy Chase putting in uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Caddyshack. And he goes, <laughs> attention surrounding friends and allies. <laughs> <laughs> this is taboo talking. No, this is Chinese swimmer. Uh, this is Chinese swimmer. Be weary of my violent blows, but I will be aiming them at. And taboo said no. And then he punched him. He smashed his face. His head huh? fell off. His nose fell off. Ooh. And uh, Chinese swimmer, who is a hero and should be regaled sure. as such, yeah. <laughs> stopped taboo the evil terrorist. And I want to say this before you start getting racist and being Muslim terrorist. No, he was not a Muslim terrorist. He because I don't believe in Muslims. Existing, uh, it's just a thing I don't believe. Yeah, do not ask me questions about it. I, w I, w I wasn't going to. Yeah, and there's a lot of things I don't believe. Sure, right? I don't even I don't believe in any religion. <laughs> I don't believe in I don't believe in food as a form of subsidence. I believe that um, I believe that uh, I believe that wood, and I believe that uh, the stars and the sun gives you sustenance. But food is the government's way of taking money from us in a thing we need. But have you ever starved to death? No, it doesn't happen. It's not a thing that happens. Uh, <laughs> so, the, yeah. So Chinese swimmer. Yeah. So that's great. Terrorist. So there's the story on the ch Chinese swimmer smashes taboo. If you didn't know, uh, I won't bother clicking the link because that's as thorough of a, a recap as you're going to get. So uh, I, now on to before Anthony, we move along, we've can got you to move expand along. on your theory of the food being a government conspiracy. Yeah, clearly, the government says you need food. Yeah, but do you? Are you alive? Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Exactly. It's the government's way of taking money out of the working man's pocket. Rich people don't eat. I've never seen a rich man, and I've never seen a rich man eat. And I know why. Because they know you don't need food. They know that all you need is the sun. And that's why That's why also the shadow government, why they call the shadow government, because they're the one who created night to take from us. Mm -hmm. And that's why most people die at night. That's been Greg Stone reporting on... Uh, Everyone dies at uh, night. Uh, Chinese swimmer smashes taboo. Uh, now on to uh, correspondent Anthony DeVito. <laughs> Uh, the sh according to a sheriff, Milwaukee violence was uh, liberals' fault. Yeah. So I'll read that back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a millionth of a second ago, he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you looked at him, you addressed him, he looked at you, and heard nothing. <laughs> no, no, I, there's something about Milwaukee in there. Oh, yeah. according I think to, a time jumper. According <laughs> <laughs> he just leaves We've got for, ourselves a looper. <laughs> yeah, he leaves time and space for about a year, comes back and doesn't know I don't what know happened. what you're talking According about, According to Greg. the sheriff, the Milwaukee violence was liberals' fault. <sighs> Gonna have to do that one again. <laughs> you, Slow it down for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little groggy after my recent trip. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, this is batshit crazy, but according to the sheriff... <laughs> According to the sheriff. Yes, according no, to the sheriff. No, Just stay here for don't, one Don't minute. repeat what I'm saying because I know when you repeat what I say, <laughs> you're going to be concentrating on that and miss the next part. You do know that. Yeah, I do know you that. You know me well, old yeah. friend. That is what I'm doing. According to the sheriff. Oh, stop it. Milwaukee violence is the liberals' fault. 
Yeah. You're goddamn right it was. This is great news reporting. Go ahead, <laughs> correspondent Anthony DeVito. <laughs> Unbiased. <laughs> tell us a little bit about the story. Well, I'll tell biased. you about it. Because according to the sheriff in Milwaukee, this is the liberals' fault. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love this. Right. So, I'll tell you what happened. The sheriff walked in to Milwaukee from wherever he was at. So he walks into Milwaukee and everything is a mess. A mess. Everything is a mess. A mess. Of course. A mess. No stores are open. They're closed. They're just there's lights flickering on and off. Oh, yeah. Nobody paid their electrical bills. So there's nothing going on in that town. So this sheriff, mm. you the sheriff of the uh this happened in Milwaukee, if yes. I'm correct. Yeah, I, yeah, well you're you're telling me, so So I am correct. Yeah, everything correct. you say is correct. So this guy walks in, he's the sheriff in Sacramento, but there they they do a swap once a year. Mm, and sure. they do the Milwaukee to Sacramento. It's like a secret Santa. Yes. So this yeah, guy sure. goes to this year he got Milwaukee. He walks into this place. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking mess, man. <laughs> Their lights aren't on. No lights. No businesses are open. It looks like Greece in 1999. And, and he's going, what the fuck is going on around here? What the fuck is going on around I'll here? I'll tell you what's going on. Great. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. So, this guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, this guy. People are having sex, sex. on the street. What? There's no laws. He goes, who's whoa, laws around here? Laws. What's going on around yeah, here? I don't know. And <laughs> <laughs> tell me more. So, so this guy's having sex with his mom. Which guy? Some guy. The mayor. The mayor. The mayor. He goes, "Who the fuck sex are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you?" And he goes, "I'm your guy, Sacramento Sher Sheriff Trade Off." He goes, "Ah, oh, that's this week. I thought it was next week." Sheriff Trade Off. Yeah. yeah. The swap. The they swap. do a yearly swap. swap. Of course. So this guy goes. Anyway, what the fuck is happening around here? Yeah. He goes, I'm fucking my mom. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. why would you do that? And he goes, there's no rules anymore because we did the sheriff swap. But, uh, you know, we haven't had a sheriff in a week because you mm. came late. And he goes, wow, well, all right. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. And then he goes, well, what? Uh, whose fault is this? Whose? And he goes, well, not me. And he goes, well, you got to find somebody to blame. Can I pause this and just say, uh, I love that the news segments we get into is a bunch of people going, he goes, and then he goes. <laughs> no, the news is every reporter that, that goes, he goes. And there that should goes. be more of the news. There yeah. should be yeah. more like, and so yeah. this guy says, and the other fellow, he goes, and he's like. Because uh, <laughs> they're on the front line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's why, yeah, but you're right. There should be more he said, she said in the yeah, news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then the mayor goes, we got to find somebody to blame. And, I, you know, we're all out of races. And he goes, well, why don't we blame the liberals. the liberals, of course. And then he goes, that's pretty good to be. Pretty good, good to everybody. That's been uh, Anthony DeVito reporting. Uh, Live the, from Milwaukee. Uh, the sheriff, according together. to the sheriff, the uh, violence in Milwaukee was the liberals' fault. Interesting, when I actually heard the story, not a lot of, no violence, really. Just the mother, when they said violence, they meant the mayor fucking his own mother. Yes, yes. words can be violent. Yes, Sex violent well, sure. can be violent. I left that part of the story out for the reader's sake. Violently sometimes, fucking his mom. Violence sometimes can be not violence. That's true too. When it's loving, <gasps> and we're all in love, and we're named violence. I'm glad we got to Violet. the bottom of that prize. Can I do one more? Yeah, I'd love oh, for you to. Let me uh, get you. This is great. This is a lot of because a lot of our listeners they're not what you would call uh, news hounds. So we <laughs> kind of bring them. <laughs> we bring them what they need to know. We might have to do two hours uh, today. Uh, we're coming to a close, but I'm coming to a peak. Uh, so this says, uh, why, why oil prices just jumped 10%? Greg, Greg Stone oh, reporting on why God. oil prices have just jumped 10%. Oh, good. Well, this is fairly simple. Uh, <laughs> this is fairly simple. As reporting back uh, to you, Greg Stone, uh, live from the New Jersey Turnpike. No one will pick me up. Interesting. Really changed format from his first reporting style. <laughs> I am <laughs> here on the New Jersey <laughs> Turnpike. Really embracing the, 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 the role of reporter on this <laughs> one. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Cameraman, you got to come over on my side. You can't be at the other side of the highway. No one's going to hear me. <laughs> Here's what it is. The oil has jumped. Uh, it's jumped the shark, as we call it. Uh, it raising 10% because, uh, the, as we all know, the president has a take-in lover. <laughs> and uh, as... As she approached President Obama and said, you need to come clean about us. 
the world needs to know about our love. And Obama <laughs> said, but I believe in love in my wife as well. And he, she said, but you can love two people. And he said, my God, my God, my God, you're right. <laughs> we have been talking about only loving one person our whole lives. And we need to love multiple people. My taken lover, Leslie Jones. Yes, that Leslie Jones. <laughs> 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 he says, listen, let's be honest. What we have together is not sexual. It is <laughs> friendship. It's all the things. And sure, we're fucking. And sure. <laughs> but you've, you've got a highly placed source on this story. A lot of what, a lot of yeah. exactly what the president said in a private conversation. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll re most people it's, do not want to reveal. This is damn fine reporting. <laughs> people don't want to reveal their sources. But here in the Red Dude cast, we reveal our sources. <laughs> I smell Pulitzer. <laughs> so I'm here, and I'm saying, well, this is so. I'm saying, gas man, the man at the gas station. Gas man, why have the prices jumped because of Obama's love? And he says, because, uh, well, first of all, let me explain to you something. My name is not gas man. My name is, <laughs> my name is Jermaine. <laughs> My name is Jermaine, and I like to cut hair, but today I don't identify as that. Today I identify as the gas man. So I do many jobs. Uh, <clears throat> the gas prices have changed because Leslie Jones' movie, Ghostbusters, uh, sank at the boss office, and she needed a little side money. So Obama said, we'll raise some money. We'll get you some money. And that's fine. It's only temporary. You know, if your movie bombs, uh, you know, you become a lover with the president. And that's how you get the money back. That's been Greg Stone reporting live inexplicably from the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> Uh, really didn't seem to apply to the story. The cameraman was across the street uh, for some reason. Didn't, didn't, didn't seem to make a lot of sense from the get-go. Listen, you report from anywhere. You report from anywhere you want to be. That's not a rule. Who's going to tell me rules? No. You? Now, nope. uh, we do have one I'll more news somebody. story that because I, I have... somebody up with my fists. Uh, uh, we should have a fight one day. We should do a Rad Dude cast live from a street fight. Yeah. You know? I like that idea a We lot. just... A uh, bare-knuckle fight. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can pay a homeless man. I learned this from the movie I Robot. Uh, you can pay a homeless man to fight them. You put gloves on, plastic rubber gloves, and then you say, "Just don't touch my face." And then you fight a homeless man and you give him twenty dollars. It's, it's you know it's sad that that's where they are. And, uh, and I would I'd like to just give a homeless man twenty dollars for nothing. Uh, that's what they do. Nothing. That's why they're homeless. Sure. Now uh, on <laughs> to were, you, were those the slanderous comments that got you in trouble <laughs> earlier? <laughs> <laughs> when you when you prior slandered a homeless man. Uh, so Anthony uh, Anthony DeVito uh, reporting live on this story. F twenty two Raptor grounded Ooh. by twenty thousand bees. Wow. Now maybe this might be the kind of segment where we need uh, both of our we need uh, a, sort of a tag team both of our correspondents yeah. working on this oh, one. So you Greg that. Stone and Anthony DeVito reporting on why the F twenty two Raptor was grounded by twenty thousand bees. Do you want to open it up, or you, you want me to open, open it, up? it up? I'll open it up and tell you. First of all, dinosaurs have no right being in the sky. <laughs> yeah, no right. Yeah. So when I sent my loyal bees <laughs> to bring them oh, down, wait a minute. You're telling me you're behind this? <laughs> <laughs> the man reporting the story is the man who did it. I am biased. <laughs> Everyone knows that well, I got a real problem with flying dinosaurs. Yeah. And you think? <laughs> That's a great way to get you in this. <laughs> what else do you think about that? I'm speechless <laughs> that you're the one who did this. I thought we were simply reporting the story. No. I'm come to find out it's been you the whole time. Yeah. I was sleeping in my bed. Yeah. And as you know that I've torn the roof off of my house because yeah. I believe in all the weather. <clears throat> I'm not going to hide from it. I'm not going to hide from anybody. You're going to hide from the rain. No, I sleep in a bed and let it rain on me and I, I curse the God. I curse the gods. <laughs> For even thinking that I can't deal with this. Either way, above me flies a velociraptor. And I say, this is odd. This is very odd. Yeah, that is weird. I thought they were all gone. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, so I said, who, am I, who is going to get them out of the sky? I call the police. The police say, this isn't our jurisdiction. Yeah. We handle human crimes. Sure. I call the FBI. Uh -huh. They say, we're just full-blooded Italians. We're not going to do this. Interesting. So then I call, so then I call <laughs> Air Force. that you would call a group of full-blooded Italians, <laughs> yeah, not the, the FBI. No, I call the FBI, the full-blooded Italians at the Jersey Shore. Ah, and not the female body inspectors? Oh, <laughs> no. They live next door. Okay. I probably should have went to them first because <laughs> if, if it's a girl velociraptor, they'll probably yeah, want to get that to go, their... Uh, like the, the, 
Yeah, interesting too that the full blood Italians and the female body inspectors yeah. aren't just the same people. I know. Yeah, I know. You know you'd, you'd think, think they would be. Put that together. Anyway. You know, yeah. But some of them, they diverted in the great, uh, great civil war of FBI <laughs> when the three factions. Uh, you know, came okay, to so a, you government, FBI, federal, federal, federal bureau, oh, yeah. right, right, federal and bureau the, investigation, full-blooded Italians, and, female, and female body. Inspectors. Yeah, there was some. There was a giant war where they all decided to take sides, and they could no longer cross uh, political lines. That's for another day. Yeah, right. getting a lot uh, more out of the story. Than either just, way, yeah, I look to the sky and I see a, I see a Velociraptor flying, and I say, "Who am I going to call?" And then I see a, one of the bees comes and says, "Reporting." Uh, the sky is blue. You're doing great. And I say, B, what are you, uh, you're going to allow this? And he goes, I'll get on it. And then the bees, the bumblebees, they all went after the velociraptor to take them down. And i got to be honest, a lot of good bees died. Okay, because as we know, st you sting, you sting, you die. Sure. That's the saddest part about being a bee is that when you defend what you believe in the most, you're going to give your life. So a lot of bees, a lot of, a lot of bees, a lot of bees died. A lot of bees died, and the Velociraptor fell, and he hit his head on one of the buildings, and it snapped his neck, and he died, and everybody died, and I said, who are you, Greg? Who are you to make this call? And that's so, been the news. Well, before we go, maybe we should do uh, in honor of all these great bees that have died. Perhaps one by one, you should list their names as dramatic music plays in the background vis-a-vis uh. 9-11 -vis stuff. Sure, give me a song and I'll list off all of those guys. <coughs> B1. <coughs> Len Bias. <coughs> the B. <coughs> Stanley B. Tuchinato. <coughs> Ringo. <coughs> Sex Pool. <coughs> Finger Licking Bad. <coughs> Denny. <coughs> Denny the Little Bitch, who's got a lot of charges brought up on him. Sacramento Killabrew. Fiscal Captain Wendy Walker Listerine Sandwich Vinny the Hobbler Bogato Cameron D Salamander <laughs> Randolph the Third Whiskers Bumblebee Jr. Bumblebee Sr. Bumblebee Esquire. <laughs> Bumblebee Sister. Black Man Hopkins. <laughs> five. And his brother, four. And his friend, three. And his friend, Wiggly. Wigglywomp. Stav uh. Stavros. Rats.